Today, we embark on a captivating journey through time, exploring an extraordinary and little-known encounter that defied the odds. Join us as we delve into the story of the first black man to engage in a conversation with one of history's most infamous figures, Adolf Hitler. In the annals of history, there exists a remarkable and largely overlooked figure who defied the odds and engaged in a face-to-face -face conversation with one of the most infamous leaders the world has ever known, Adolf Hitler. His name was Milton Samuel J. Wright, an esteemed economist hailing from the vibrant city of Savannah, Georgia. Born on June 28, 1903, to William and Edith Burnside Wright, Milton's journey would take him from the sun-drenched streets of the American South to the hallowed halls of academia, and ultimately, to an encounter that would forever shape his legacy forever. With an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a burning desire to make a difference, Wright embarked on his educational journey at Wilberforce University in Ohio. It was there that he honed his intellectual prowess, graduating with a bachelor's degree in economics in 1926. Fueled by ambition and a quest for deeper understanding, he then set his sights on Columbia University, where he pursued his master's degree in economics, a testament to his dedication and scholarly pursuits. He continued his academic pursuits by earning his PhD in economics from Germany's prestigious University of Heidelberg in 1932. His dissertation, titled Economic Development and Indigenous Policy in the African Protectorates, delved into the complexities of colonialism, economic systems, and the impact of policies on indigenous populations. Wright's meticulous research shed light on the flaws of the colonial system and advocated for equitable policies that empowered African communities. His PhD from Heidelberg solidified his academic prowess, exposed him to a rich intellectual environment, and shaped his thinking in the pursuit of social justice and economic equality. As the world teetered on the precipice of tumultuous times in the early 20th century, Wright's academic achievements propelled him into the realm of international affairs and economic policy. His keen insights and analytical prowess caught the attention of esteemed institutions, and he quickly emerged as a rising star in the field of economics. In an era fraught with political upheaval and the rise of dictatorial regimes, Wright's unique perspective as a black man navigating the world of academia and international relations brought a fresh and vital voice to the conversation. It was against this backdrop that fate would intertwine his path with that of Adolf Hitler, the enigmatic leader whose ideology would plunge the world into darkness. The circumstances surrounding their encounter are shrouded in mystery, as historical records offer only tantalizing glimpses into the events that transpired. However, it is widely believed that Wright's reputation as an astute economist and his dedication to fostering dialogue on critical issues caught the attention of influential figures, including Hitler himself. When the momentous meeting finally took place, the world held its breath. Two vastly different men from vastly different backgrounds found themselves in a room, engaging in a conversation that would challenge their preconceptions and perhaps plant seeds of doubt. Let's take a look at the events that actually lead to this talk. In the summer of 1932, within the captivating city of Heidelberg, fate intertwined the paths of Milton Samuel J. Wright and the infamous Adolf Hitler. After attending a regional political rally alongside his German friends, Wright found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. In a moment of jest, he made a passing comment about being willing to assassinate the future dictator. Little did he know that his words had been overheard by some guards who promptly detained him. As Wright approached a restaurant in the prestigious Europeischerhof Hotel, little did he realize that Hitler himself was lodging there. Coincidentally, the guards escorting him revealed that he had been summoned by the very man he had made an ill-advised comment about. It was a twist of fate that would forever alter the course of their lives. Despite his apprehension, Milton Samuel J. Wright armed with fluency in German and a deep understanding of Nazi ideology, mustered the courage to enter Adolf Hitler's room. The weight of the moment was palpable as he contemplated the potential dangers that lay ahead. There was a lingering fear that this encounter might not end peacefully. If you are still watching this video, it means you love it. Why not hit the like button? This will let us know you love it and we will create more videos like this. Have you done that?
let's move on. As years later accounts from publications, such as the Pittsburgh Courier and Ebony Magazine revealed, their exchange was far from a balanced conversation. Hitler, in his typical fashion, dominated the discussion, posing rhetorical questions only to answer them himself. His voice, calm yet resoundingly loud, filled the room as he delved into his skewed worldview. While there were moments when Hitler acknowledged a vague awareness of the historical contributions of black individuals, including a degree of respect for figures such as Booker T. Washington and Paul Robeson, his underlying prejudices and preconceptions remained intact. In the face of Wright's educational achievements and intellectual prowess, Hitler dismissed the potential for success and happiness for educated black individuals, asserting that they were destined to be miserable. This encounter took place less than six months before Hitler would ascend to the position of Chancellor of Germany. It was a chilling glimpse into the mind of a man who would soon unleash unspeakable horrors upon the world. For Wright, this one-sided conversation served as a stark reminder of the prevailing racism and bigotry that he sought to challenge throughout his life. Though the specifics of the dialogue and its long-term impact may remain elusive, this encounter between Wright and Hitler stands as a testament to the enduring struggle against racial inequality and the importance of unwavering determination in the face of adversity. It serves as a reminder that even in the presence of a demagogue, individuals like Wright continue to advocate for justice, equality, and the dismantling of oppressive ideologies. In the midst of their conversation, Adolf Hitler fearlessly addressed the state of African Americans in the United States, unafraid to shed light on their plight. He astutely pointed out the glaring absence of voting rights for black Americans and criticized their seeming acceptance of their own oppression. Hitler's words cut through the air with chilling honesty as he remarked, Negroes must be definitely third-class people to allow whites to lynch them, beat them, segregate them, without rising up against them. The impact of this momentous conversation reached far and wide, spanning continents and crossing the Atlantic to capture the attention of readers in the United States. The Pittsburgh Courier, a prominent African-American newspaper, seized the opportunity to share this extraordinary encounter. Shortly after the United States entered the Second World War, the newspaper ran a front-page article recounting the profound discussion between Milton Samuel J. Wright and Hitler. The publication aimed to shed light on the realities faced by marginalized communities and galvanize readers to confront the injustices that plagued society. As Wright shared his recollections, he drew attention to a fascinating aspect of Hitler's demeanor throughout the conversation. Despite the weightiness of the topics discussed, Hitler maintained an outward calmness, presenting his questions with an air of authority before promptly providing his own answers. This pattern underscored the depth of his convictions and the unwavering nature of his beliefs. For instance, he posed the provocative question, don't you think your people are destined perpetually to be slaves of one kind or another, before callously replying, yes, your people are a hopeless lot. I don't hate them, I pity the poor devils. The profundity of this conversation did not go unnoticed, and its impact extended beyond the written word. In 1944, the radio show New World A Coming, a platform dedicated to promoting anti-racism and equality, recognized the significance of this encounter. They took it upon themselves to dramatically reenact the conversation, bringing the words to life and broadcasting them to a wider audience. Through the power of radio, the dialogue between Wright and Hitler resonated with listeners, evoking a range of emotions and fueling a collective call to action against racial injustice. This extraordinary encounter between Wright and Hitler continues to hold a significant place in history, serving as a haunting reminder of the deep-rooted prejudice that plagued societies at that time. It underscores the urgent need for unwavering resistance against oppression and the tireless pursuit of equality and justice. The courage exhibited by Wright, both in engaging with Hitler and in sharing his account of the conversation, stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who fight for justice and strive to break the chains of bigotry. It serves as a constant reminder of the challenges faced by marginalized communities and the importance of speaking truth to power. By bringing this remarkable exchange to light, we honor the resilience of those who paved the way for a more equitable world. 
Milton Samuel J. Wright's ordeal in the presence of Adolf Hitler extended for an astonishing four hours. However, amidst the gravity of the situation, Hitler displayed surprising courtesy. He commended Wright on his impeccable command of the German language, suggesting the possibility of future meetings in Munich. As a token of their unusual encounter, Hitler even presented Wright with an autographed photograph, a memento that would forever serve as a reminder of their bizarre exchange. Having survived this surreal and improbable encounter with one of history's most infamous figures, Wright returned to the United States, resuming his work at Samuel Houston College in Austin, Texas. In 1933, following his return from the gripping encounter with Adolf Hitler, Milton Samuel J. Wright embarked on a new chapter in his career as a professor. He joined the esteemed ranks of Wilberforce University, assuming the role of a professor and taking charge as the head of the Department of Economics and Political Science. This appointment marked a significant milestone in Wright's academic journey and solidified his standing as a respected scholar and leader within the university community. With his wealth of knowledge in economics and political science, Wright brought a fresh perspective and intellectual vigor to his teaching and research endeavors. His students benefited greatly from his expertise as he imparted valuable insights and nurtured their understanding of these complex fields. As the head of the department, Wright also played a pivotal role in shaping the curriculum, fostering an environment of intellectual curiosity and guiding aspiring scholars toward academic excellence. In 1934, he took a significant step in his personal life, marrying Sue Hurt. This union provided Wright with unwavering support and companionship as he continued his journey. For nearly four decades, Wright dedicated himself to teaching and administrative responsibilities at Wilberforce University, leaving an indelible mark on the institution. His extensive expertise in economics and political science positioned him as a respected professor and a guiding force within the academic community. Wright's unwavering commitment to research and scholarship propelled him to the role of vice president for research, further solidifying his impact on the university. In 1969, after a long and illustrious career, Wright made the decision to retire, leaving a lasting legacy at Wilberforce University. His tenure as a professor of economics and political science had not only shaped the minds of countless students, but also contributed to the advancement of knowledge in his fields of expertise. Milton Samuel J. Wright's story is one of resilience, intellectual fortitude, and the pursuit of justice. Despite enduring the extraordinary experience of conversing with Hitler, he managed to continue his life's work, leaving a lasting imprint on the academic landscape. His contributions as an educator and administrator have cemented his place in the annals of Wilberforce University's history, a testament to his unwavering commitment to excellence and his relentless pursuit of knowledge. Throughout his tenure at Wilberforce University, Wright's influence extended far beyond the classroom. He actively engaged in scholarly research, contributing to the body of knowledge in his areas of expertise. His commitment to understanding the intricate dynamics of economics and political science fueled his pursuit of truth and social progress. In addition to his teaching and research responsibilities, Wright embraced administrative roles within the university. His leadership acumen and dedication to fostering an environment of academic rigor earned him the respect and admiration of colleagues and students alike. His contributions to the growth and development of Wilberforce University were invaluable, and his impact resonated long after his retirement. On March 11, 1972, the world bid farewell to an exceptional scholar and esteemed educator, Milton S. J. Wright. His passing occurred in Xenia, Ohio, leaving behind a profound legacy that transcended the boundaries of academia. At the age of 68, Wright's journey came to a close, but his contributions to the fields of economics, political science, and social justice would continue to reverberate for years to come. In the wake of his departure, Wright's daughter, Francine, carried on his legacy, a testament to the lasting impact he had on those closest to him. As the torchbearer of his intellectual lineage, Francine embodies the spirit of her father's unwavering commitment to knowledge and social progress. While Milton S. J. Wright's physical presence may no longer grace the halls of academia, his intellectual legacy lives on.
His teachings continue to inspire future generations of scholars. His research continues to shed light on the complexities of economics and political science, and his commitment to social justice serves as a guiding beacon for those who seek a more equitable world. Hope you enjoyed this episode of History from the New Tourist. If you did, then hit the like button while we work on the next episode.